we smoke is back food. 20 for the gram, baby, yeah, we smoking that good. Posted in the city with them white girls that act cool. I'ma break it down and I'ma stuff it in a backwood. We them on them switches, baby, yeah, we smoke is back food. 20 for the gram, baby, yeah, we smoking that good. Posted in the city with them white girls that act cool. Act cool. I'm taking trips to your crib in the middle of the night. You say you miss me cause you know I get you high. Damn, baby, I could put you on a fly. I gotta be high so you don't see the little side of me Is it an addiction? Maybe Swish is you crazy Backwards tattoo on my arm, I ain't playing I'm gelato, my favorite, ain't no half bacon A couple is it, is it, your girl half naked I'm taking trips to your crib in the middle of the night Okay, 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 lit. that was lit, that was lit Song of the week, Nitro Get Live I like that Nitro Get Live, go crazy I like that Tro mix, tro mix Shout out to you, Nitro. Definitely a hot artist. You gotta bang with producer. that. He makes fire, fire beats. Y'all check him out. He's definitely, if y'all want some bangers, y'all want anything that's gonna make it to billboards, anything, contact him. Nitro, get live. But yeah, what's up? What's good? It's your girl, Antonia. We out here amped up live. We got Trey. Hey, uh, what's good? What's, what's good? good, Trey? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Did you have a good weekend? Ooh. Hey, it was it was nice, <laughs> sweet. That's good. That's How about yourself? Not bad, not bad. You know, I love to get out of town sometimes and get loose. You know what I'm saying? Get a little but loose. But it was cool. I've been working a lot too, so trying to get the bag. You know what I'm saying? Too. It's bag season all year. Let's Bags. get it. We got like less than ninety days to the year's over, so yeah, we gotta grind, go hard, do your thing. But yeah, I also want you guys to know. Shout out to Alkaline Life sponsoring this episode. Fresh water. Hey, Fresh. Taste is real good too. Mm. Eight plus pH, way above the balance you need to, you know, give your body that shock to cleanse out the toxins and all that good stuff. Mm. Get yours at your nearest store today. But yeah, what's good? What we got on the topic? What we working with? Uh, oh, hold on. What you got? Yesterday was definitely crazy. It was okay. uh, well, not yesterday. Well, it was technically. I'm going to drop this today after. But yeah, so Monday of this week, you know, mm-hmm. I guess Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp was disconnected. Ooh. Going through a shutdown. Everybody was like going crazy, sitting in a corner waiting to be like, what's good? What's going on? Yeah. No. How'd you feel about that? You probably didn't even notice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't even pay attention. But you know what I did notice, though? I noticed that when I got back on, a lot of females saying, oh, they need to shut down Xbox and PlayStation servers. Now, y'all, just know y'all out of pocket for that, you know? I I think... Going too far. I agree. What? What? Come on, I agree. We need to... Everyone needs to have a little break on every platform every now and then. Don't don't, don't say nothing like that. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, but y'all didn't notice because y'all was like this, playing the whole time. Like, no, we're not going to do that. Shoot, nah, shout out. We're not going to do that. That's crazy, though. But that's what's up. I mean, yeah, I do feel that, you know, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, the feds, like y'all all breaking, y'all all shutting down at the same time. What's up? Mm. What's up? Ooh, service crashing. But that's neither here or there. Let's just say that uh, we have YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you have MTF Live. You're always going to be here. We will always be here for you if you guys, you know, need some entertainment, whatever. We're here. But yeah, what's up with, uh, oh, tell me about, oh. oh Steven Jackson? On. Yes, that's the guy. Yeah, so, so who is he? Steven Jackson, basketball player. You know, he's an analyst. He usually be on ESPN and whatnot. Um, you know, normally doing a basketball season, but he also been on Breakfast Club, too. So he's, oh. he's you know, former basketball player. So, he, you know, but the story about him is interesting. Uh him and his fiance was about to get engaged and on the day of the wedding he called it off because she didn't sign a prenup so you know a lot of people are saying well why did he wait to the last minute to do that mm-hmm. do you think he was wrong for waiting to the last minute of the day of the wedding because you know he could have checked in at any time before the wedding mm-hmm. and he also said that he, it's been a, it's, it's been on his mind like all night you know the day of the wedding 
I mean, the day before the wedding. So but what was he waiting for? Like, I mean, maybe he was putting his trust in her to do the right thing. To sign. Yeah. So, and she got there. She didn't sign. You know, and so he can't force her to sign. You know, due to legal uh, um, troubles with that. You know, that's like. Do you know how long they were dating? I don't know, but I did say this. I'll say this. I looked up his net worth, and his net worth says 20 mil. Yeah. Yeah, so. Well, he just wanted to make sure he was, you know, securing his yeah, bag. He can't get cleaned out, you know. I don't know if we're going on. Did right they have now. any kids together? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, so he didn't care at all. He would at just all. say, right, are you going to? Yeah. Well, I mean, if I was her, I would have. Mm. You would have what? I would have. <clears throat> okay, let's see. So, if there's an a. You know, life is about a business at the end of the day, too. Like, if you make me happy, fine, you'll make me happy. But if we really, really in this together, then I'm not going to really stress on a prenup situation. But I get, I, only because of the fact that I got to make sure that, you know, anything I do in my name as well, business wise, mm -hmm. he can't touch. But I know that he's going to be investing as well. So I'm going to make sure you got to play it smart. Like, yeah, you'll get yours, but I'm going to make sure whatever I get from you, I'm going to make 10 times more. Like, I was watching this chick on um, the lady on Shark Tank. Okay. The um, older older white lady. Yeah. She was saying that I thought her, she had some boyfriend. She had a boyfriend that she got. Um, the, basically, she started her career with $1,000 from her boyfriend. So he gave her $1,000, boom. He, she started her um, realtor, realty agency, and he, I guess, cheated on her, allegedly, with her secretary. Okay. So, boom. they But they were married as well. So, boom, her boyfriend and him got married. So they were married. All right. They got divorced. Mm -hmm. What she did was took the money that they, they had to split everything. 50-50. 50-50, which line. I totally understand. But she made sure that she did not let him see her struggle low or whatever because he made it seem like she wasn't going to make it. So what she did was turn her business into a $66 million company. And mm -hmm. he had to file for, like, bankruptcy or whatever. I don't know. Something. He, but he was struggling, long story short. So my thing is you want to, like, yeah, I mean, everybody, you want to play it safe. It's a business. Marriage is a business. So with that being said, you want to... I mean, what are we marrying for? Are we marrying because you marrying we, for benefits? You marrying because for the we business. love somebody or because of security? What's you don't going need on? to marry. Like, marriage is not nothing but a contractual or business agreement. You don't need to get married unless this business involved. Like, I'm not gonna leave if you know emotionally, spiritually, everything. Then we don't even need to be married. We're just gonna deal, stay though. together. But I understand why people do it. You know, it's probably was a woman's idea for him to marry or want to get married. It was probably her. He, he was probably, I'm just. <laughs> Come I just, on, man. I, I, I'm just <laughs> oh saying, this God. sounds not You reach it right now. <laughs> but seriously, I just feel like it was, it might have been persuaded more by her, and which is why he was like, all right, well, look, I'll do it, but you got to sign the papers. And she Wait. was like, nah. See me. If that's the case, then why would the prenup be involved if you think it was her idea? No, I'm not saying the prenup was involved. So about the marriage. marriage was involved, and that was her idea. Like, well, she just I mean, I'm sure it, it was their idea. It's but, simple to sign it, right? But yeah, but I, nowadays, you know, it's, it's some people are different mentally, like how business goes, or you know, it might be a touchy situation where they feel like they're they're they don't need to have a paper to make it make it you know yeah and an agreement to separate things but i get the purpose of why they do that you have to sec make you know you have to secure your assets you have to secure what's yours because i've worked this far to get my 20 mil what did you do to invest in my 20 mil right not even a mil you don't deserve half a mil hmm. but i mean i get it but that's crazy so fine we don't we don't need to we can sign the agreement, but understand 90% of that is coming to me while I'm with you starting that day. <laughs> I'm joking. But I'm just saying, you got to be smart, ladies. Like, okay, fine. Fellas, you got too. The hey, keep your head on a swivel, all right? Wow. Yeah, hey. Ladies, okay, I'll sign. Stepdaddy season. I'm That's opening what five businesses the next day. <laughs> You're going to invest in everything from the beginning to the end. Just you know, because oh this is life. What am I? What am I supposed to be now? Married and not do nothing? No, we gonna <laughs> next topic. <laughs> uh, 
Did you see um in South Florida? It was a trans woman. Oh, she was drugging uh men down there. No, yeah, she, uh, but, but I'm just like, come she on. She was drugging them and robbing them. No. Yeah. So. That's, so what happened to her? She got I mean, arrested. She, of course, she got arrested. But drugging my, and robbing. Them. My question it's probably was, their fault. The men. Can, can you imagine? I'm joking. I'm joking. You know the men and when they got it, you know, explain that to the detective. So you know. What, Some of them don't. I they, mean, what do they look? What you know? What does it look? You know, what does she look like? But what does she? She look like she, a sexy man, woman. Yeah, that's very hard to, to explain. Well, because let's draw a sketch of that. You know, so the figure, with the size, you know, what type of, you know, that can. Now get a I know difficult. men should now understand how it feels to be a victim of, you know, something. Can we being start a GoFundMe for them? Because <laughs> I mean, dang, you know, you just got God out here, you know. No. For, just for the for their financial support, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. No. Why not? Because at the end of the day, they knew. I mean, nobody knows they're going to go into chill and mess with some type of thief. And you don't know that. And like I said, you don't know that. I, trust me, I know you don't know. Who knows that? But my point is, like, you don't watch movies? Why are you going in there with a, with a Rolex and money? This, and that's if it was a one night. I'm sure it was a, a little course, quick one hour you know, sesh like, with this. But real, real quick, like real quick. So you going? You don't. Why are you going in there with your wallet, sir? Sir. <laughs> sir, ma'am. I'm just hey, playing. When flexing goes wrong. I'm trying to tell you, like. What else you had? You had any other topics besides? Shoot. I know it was something oh, that was on your mind. Oh, DJ Academics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about how NBA young boy. Well, I guess. He's locked up right now. So, but he hit made number one of the charts. Yeah, supposedly he passed uh, Drake. What is it, CLB? So I haven't even heard NBAs yet. I haven't heard. Uh, young either. boys. Uh, I just checked the numbers though, so I don't know if it was just because that day it released. I'm gonna check it out. And I checked the numbers, and uh, right now Meek Mill's on top. Word. And then yeah. It's CLB. And I gotta then check all that boy. out. How you feel about exclusive pain from? Uh, I mean, exclusive expensive pain. Oh, it's me. I, I like it. I like it. He got some bangers on there. You Do know? you feel like he? Um, well, I don't know. I read a lot. I uh, checked out a couple of blogs with saying that um, Meek Mill, his flow is more like Dirk or you know, little babies. It's, and that's because you have to evolve nowadays with your sound. You got to so change understanding. It. If that's bit. what your fans want, they want to hear Dirk, little baby. They want to hear what's trending now. Then you might have to tweak it a little bit so you can still be up there. Like, look at Jay Z. Like he was doing that from when the 1200s. I'm just trying to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, Don't disrespect. But, no, that's that's why I'm, like I'm, like I'm just a the blueprint. I'm joking. But but he laid it out. Like you want to stay in the game, you gotta. Evolve, you gotta do your thing, but Jay Z never really changed his flow. So, you got not, not saying he changed his flow, but he the beats, the selection, yeah. the whole down to the message, everything was different. Oh, because that's the more yeah, money that he got, changed, yeah. the, he wasn't spitting on being in the street type of shit. So, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. like that started changing. you have to evolve, yeah. I totally understand that. But yeah, I like the album. It was I did dope. see also that NBA Young Boy, uh, him. Who else was locked up? I guess while while being in jail, NBA Young Boy, Lil Wayne, Tupac all hit number one, and they're like the only artists in the world that ever hit number one while being locked up. Supposedly, allegedly. Let's see if that's true. You do your research. You let me know. Yeah. I guess that's our job. But you let me know. We're gonna interact. We're gonna talk. Definitely. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hit us up. Leave your comments. Check us out. Song of the week. Sub submissions definitely. Send those bangers. Light it up, because I've been getting so many, and I've just responded back. Well, we've just responded back today, actually. So, yeah, because it's a lot. There's there's a lot. We need some new music, so yeah, please send that. And it's great exposure. I know you're definitely rocking with it, too. So where else? Why not here? Later.